What's up rail fans? I have something in this video that I know you're gonna like. I came across a summary of Norfolk Southern's locomotive roster for 2019. Now what's nice about this summary is that it's a current summary. It was compiled in September, right around September 5th, so it's not even three months old. And we're gonna go through this roster. Now we're not gonna go through every single engine, but we're gonna go through the more uh, prevalent ones to us because we, we've talked about a lot of these engines over the past couple of months. As of right now, as of September 5th, the Norfolk Southern has, according to this summary, and this is where all the information is coming from, just to make it clear, this is all coming from this summary. Norfolk Southern has 3,978 locomotives, so just under 4,000 locomotives. In that 4,000, let's just say 4,000 because it's easy math. In that 4,000 locomotives, there are a total of 131 four-axle slugs. And if you're not familiar, if you're not familiar with what slugs are, they're typically used in yard service. Sometimes they're used in hump service. There are also 95 four-axle slugs exclusively for the GP40-2. So in addition to the 131 four-axle slugs, there's an additional 95 slugs exclusively for the GP40-2 on Norfolk Southern. There's a total of five gen sets on Norfolk Southern, which we talked about in a fairly recent video. I'm not sure, I think there's two four axle gen sets and three six axle gen sets, or maybe the other way around, maybe three four axle gen sets. That's my scanner going off. If you, if you hear that sound, that's my scanner going off. And two five, uh, six axle gen sets. Here's the big one, okay? Of Norfolk Southern's 4,000 locomotives, 500 of them, 498 technically, but we'll say 500 because it's easy math. SD40-2s. And these are SD40-2s in various number sequences. NS has SD40-2s from all over the freaking place, as we've talked about. But yeah, there, that's, a, that's a one eighth of their total fleet. SD40-2s. Locomotives from the 1960s and 70s. Gotta love it. Get this. 592 total SD70 series locomotives. Now that counts all SD70s. That counts the standard cabs, whatever ones are left. The ACEs, the ACUs, the ACCs, you get the point. The M-2s. There's 486 total GVOs on the NS roster right now, and that's AC and DC GVOs, and I predict that the DCs will eventually be repowered to AC traction like they like to do in everything else. So, those are the totals. Now, we're going to go, st we're going to start going through. Starting from the lowest number Norfolk Southern locomotives to the highest number. We're going from lowest number to highest numbered. So that's how that's how the reports compiled from the lowest number to the highest numbered. So with that, we'll get started. Now, this particular locomotive really isn't important to us, but I'm going to touch on it only because of the fact that there's only two of them and it's the very first locomotive class on this list. And that is the remote control platforms rebuilt from GP38s. NS classifies them as RCP4s and there's two of them numbers 97 and 98 and as far as NS is concerned they're not going anywhere they're stable where they're at okay the first ones on the list that are significant to us are the RP20 BDs which we talked about just a few videos back there's two of them those are the four axle gen sets so while it's right there's two four axle gen sets and three six axle gen sets but the four axle gen sets are the model numbers RP20 BD and like I said, there's two of them. Numbers one on, uh, let me try that again. Numbers 100 and 101. And those are on the endangered list. They're either retired or set to be retired and sold off. The next class on this list are real heartbreakers. In fact, at the time that this list was compiled, they were not set to be retired or sold off. But the news just hit me maybe two weeks ago that NS is selling off the office car special power. The F9As and the F7Bs, I believe all four are going, but I know at least two of them are going. And that's really, really sad. I mean, the office car special, I'm sure you've, if you've not seen it in person, you, you've at least seen videos of it. And it's a really, really nice train, a real classy train. But NS feels the need to sell off the F9As and the F7Bs. Number 999, the triple nine, was an experimental, is an experimental battery-powered yard locomotive. NS classifies it as the BP4, so I'm guessing it stands for battery-powered four. And there's one of them on the roster, and that is on the endangered list. That's set to be retired and or sold off if it hasn't already been. 
The initial flock of NSSD 70 ACEs numbered 175, 1000 to 1174, including the 10 heritage units. There's 10 more units to be delivered later this year, and they've probably already been delivered because I've, sh I've actually shown some of them in my videos. In the end, they'll be numbered from 1,000 to 1,224. So there's actually 40, you know what, I read that wrong. There's 40 SD70 ACEs. They're Tier 4 credit ACEs that are to be delivered. 10 more to be delivered this year, according to this roster as of September 5th. So they may have already been delivered. Number 1580-1580 is a lone SD40, a straight SD40, no dash 2 on this one. It has been retired and set aside for preservation at Juniata. The next class of locomotives, the, ne the next group of locomotives are SD40-2s and SD45-2s. The first batch we talked about, the high hoods, I told you there was maybe 10 of them. Well, that's what there are. There's 10 of them left on Norfolk Southern. So if you want to get those, you better grab them. They're all ex-Norfolk and Westerns, and they're um, equipped with remote control. They're numbered from 1625 to 1635, and they're scattered all about mostly the Midwest. I know there was one in Granite City, Illinois. There was one working in Fort Wayne, and maybe in Ohio, you know, but you'll, you'll have to search them out. If you're looking for them, you'll have to seek them out. But you have 10 high hood SD40-2s from the Norfolk and Western. One thing about these high hood SD40-2s is they had dual control, um, dual control stands inside the cab so they could be run long hood or short hood forward in addition to that there's another 15 SD40-2s right behind them 1636 to 1652 now they're low nose SD40-2s I don't know what the heritage of them is I'm guessing they're I'm guessing they're N&Ws then you have the 6 SD45-2s X Erie Lackawanna's hold on a second Well, I thought that I could record this video without or without turning off the scanner, but apparently that's not going to happen. So I shut the scanner off. So you won't be getting disturbed by that again. Now, where were we? Okay, we were talking about the SD45-2s. Okay, those are ex area Lackawanna's, and NS has six of them. And they're numbered from 1700 to 1705. The 1700 is the heritage unit that's painted in its original area Lackawanna paint. These, um, let's see, according to the notes here, the 1700 to 1702, so the first three have been repowered with 645 engines and a 3,000 horsepower, so they've been cut back. The 1703 and 1704 still have their 20 cylinder 645 engines and are still rated at 3,600 horsepower. 1705 still has its uh, 20 cylinder 645 engine, but it has been cut back to 3,000 horsepower. The SD70 ACC, according to the roster here, there are 29 of them that are currently on the roster. Rebuilt SD70s with AC traction and four more units in progress, according to the summary here. Um, right now, there's supposedly 1800, number eight, numbers 1800 to 1833. So that's actually 34 of them. But yeah, yeah, 29, 29 or 30 with four, uh, whatever. Now here's one that broke my heart, the SD70 ACE T4s, the Tier 4s. NS had 10 of those on order. They were going to be numbered from 2000 to 2009, but the order was canceled. So we won't be seeing those on NS. Interesting note, back in, I don't know if it was in 2017 or it was 2018, but I think it was last year. A Union Pacific Tier 4 came through on 37T. Unfortunately, nobody in this area caught it because nobody knew it was on there. I didn't know it was on there, so I missed it. But... Southern Tier Rail Fan up in uh, up on Rail Fanning up on the New York Southern Tier, they caught it. Okay, this locomotive we talked about, the SW1001. There's five of them. They're all ex Reading Railroad SW1001s. They're numbered 2100 and then 2102 through 2105. So there's no 2101, or at least not according to this roster. The 2102 and the 2103 are shop switches at Juniata, which we talked about. The um, other two or three were assigned to Enola. I don't know if they're still assigned to Enola though. Another locomotive model that we talked about. By the way, the um the SW1001s, they're on the endangered list now. 
Another locomotive that we talked about were the MP15Es, which were upgraded from MP15DCs. There's 17 of them on the NS roster, and aside from what they already sold off, the rest of them are stable on the roster. They're not going anywhere. They're numbered currently from 2349 to 2430. The SD70 standard cabs, which we know are being rebuilt as SD70 ACCs. According to the roster, this summary, there's 37 of them on the NS roster. Number 2502 to 2580. And like I said, they're all being rebuilt as SD70 ACCs. Then we have the SD70Ms. Now, NS has 68 of them on their roster. But that includes the Phase 1s and the Phase 2s. The Phase 1s, as we talked about in Rail Fanning then and now, they only have 10 of those. Well, technically they have 13. They bought 10 brand new, and they were numbered from 2581 to 2590, I think. Uh, something, something like that. But there's 10, but they were the first 10. And then they acquired another 3 from the Susquehanna, but they're numbered way up between the M-2s and the SD60Ms like we talked about in the Dash 8 video. But nonetheless, according to this summary, Phase 1 and Phase 2 SD70Ms, they have 68 of them. Now, I can tell you that they don't include the three Suzy Qs in this particular roster because it's not showing it in the number scheme. And my computer screen just went blank on me. The screensaver came on, so let's get, the, let's get this back here. Okay. Yeah, they have them numbered from 2581 to 2648. And I can tell you right now that the Suzy Qs are numbered from 2797 to 2799. So this does not include the three Suzy Qs that they got back in 2014. The SD70M-2s, they have 130 of them according to this summary here. And they're numbered from 2649 to 2778. Interesting though that they don't have these as being retired or out of service. But they are stored. They all they are all stored right now. I do know that. But according to the roster, you know, they're they're in service, but I know for a fact that they're not in service. Okay, the SD seventy dash the SD seventy M dash twos are in storage. But according to this roster, there's one hundred and thirty of them, number twenty six forty nine to twenty seven seventy eight. Okay, moving over to page two, we got the three SD70Ms that NS got from the Suzy Q, or technically they got them from Progress Rail, who got them back from Suzy Q. But I made a mistake. I said that they w I said that they were numbered between the M-2s and the SD60Ms. It was actually the SD75Ms. I should know that. I mean, I did a video about it just a couple of weeks ago. But you know, you get to deal with all these different numbers and locomotive classes, th things that to rattle around in your brain after a while. But anyway. As I pointed out, they're numbered from 2797 to 2799. Three SD70Ms acquired from the New York, Susquehanna, and Western Progress Rail in 2014. Now, the 75Ms, the SD75Ms, ex-BNSFs, which were technically ex-Santa Fe war bonnets that were also acquired in 2014. Number 2800 to 2806. They're all active on the roster. They're all not going anywhere. GP38. There's two of them, 2922 and 2948. They're retired and stored at Juniata. I believe that these might be ex Penn Central's or ex Lehigh Valley's, but don't quote me on that. I don't have my my um, guidebook with me, so I can't look it up. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I can look that up. Give me one second. Okay, I tried to look it up in my uh, roster book, but it's not showing either of those road numbers. But it is showing one that's close to them, and it's next Conrail, nay Penn Central. So I'm assuming that these are ex Penn Central locomotives. Okay, if they're not, let me know in the comments. But nonetheless, they're both retired and they're being stored at Juniata. GP40 2s, NS has 103 of them, number 3000 to 3102. Some of them are rebuilt GP38, some are rebuilt GP38 ACs, and some are rebuilt GP40s. But they're all solidly on the roster, they're not going anywhere. Numbers 3201 to 3328, 110 SD40 2s, all former high hoods, which means they're probably all Southern Railways, all rebuilt with the Admiral Cab. Yep, they're Southern Railways. 3201 to 3328, 110 SD40-2s, all former Southern Railway high hoods, all rebuilt with short, low, uh, low, low noses. 108 units have Admiral cabs and two have the regular EMD style cab, SD40-2, SD40, you know the EMD cab. 
And then there's another 92 right behind that, another 92 SD40-2s numbered from 3329 to 3424. And it does not have the heritage on those, so I'm going to assume that they're ex-Southern Railways, but they could be something else. Like I said, NS has um, SD40-2s from all over the place. They have two SD40-2s that were rebuilt from SD40s, numbers 3429 and 3445, and that and both of those are on the endangered list. They're all set to be retired or sold off. There's another four groups of SD40-2s here that I'm going to go through real quick. There's 20 of them that were acquired from CEFX in August of 2011. They're numbered from 3448 to 3467. Then there's 24 SD40-2s that were acquired from NERX, that's National Railway Equipment, in September of 2012. And they're numbered from 3468 to 3491. Then there's 13 SD40-2s acquired from the CIT Group in 2013, and they're numbered from 3492 to 3504. And then there's 80 SD40-2s acquired from Helm Leasing, that's HLCX, in November of 2013 and they're numbered from 3505 to 3584. Right after that, right behind them are the ET44 ACs. Norfolk Southern has 81 of them. 3600 numbered 3600 to 3680. Naturally they're not going anywhere. Also those four classes of SD40-2s they're stable on the roster. They're not going anywhere. The next locomotive up is the RP20CD. Now according to this there's only one of them but if you recall NS has five gen sets and we just talked about the other two that were four axles and they were the RP20BDs but this is the RP20CD it's only showing one of them so there must be two other gen sets that I don't know about that NS has but at, at any rate it's number 3830 and it's on the endangered list. Currently as of September 5th there are 174 AC44 C6Ms, and we know that they were rebuilt from C40-9s, and some with, were rebuilt from C40-9Ws. Technically, they were C44-9s. If you didn't know that, because I see a lot of guys that are misclassifying these on their videos, all dash nines were beefed up to 30. I'm sorry, 4,400 horsepower in 2014 and the 2015. So they are technically Dash 944 CWs and Dash 944 Cs, or at least they were, before they were rebuilt into the AC44s. But nonetheless, as of September 5th, there's uh, 174 of them numbered 4,000 to 4,174. Now, I know that there's more than that because we've seen, on, our, my, on my own videos, we've seen them in the 4,200 number series, so there's clearly more of them rebuilt than that. But, oh, duh, here they go. 100 rebuilds planned for 2019 from GE, Juniata, and Roanoke numbered from 4175 to 4274, 71 AC44 C6Ms. Then there's 300 rebuilds planned for 2020 to 2022 from GE, Juniata, and Roanoke, and they will be numbered 4275 to 4574. Now, as far as I know, all Dash 9s Jesus, my screensaver came back on again. I should shut that off. Okay, all Dash 9s, all the standard cabs and the wide cabs are going to be rebuilt into AT4400s as far as I know. So that's over 1,200 of them. Now, the reason I'm pointing that out is because I know a lot of rail fans don't like NS's Dash 9s because they consider them rudimentary and overly common. But if there's any truth to that, and I believe there is, you better snag them while you can because another five years maybe six or seven tops, you're not going to have any Dash 9s left on NS. Remember what I said, shoot it today because you don't know if you're going to have it tomorrow. There's 17 GP59s on Norfolk Southern numbered 4609 to 4639. They're solid. There's 12 GP59Es rebuilt from GP59s as we talked about, numbered 4650 to 4661. They're solid. There's six GP59 Ecos that are rebuilt GP50s, GP59s, and have similar specs to the Jeep 33 Ecos. There's eight of those. They're numbered 4662 to 4667. And then there's 28 GP33 Ecos rebuilt from GP60 cores, similar specs to the GP59E, but with brand new 710 Tier 3 engines. And they're numbered from 4700 to 4727. Then there's the GP34 Eco, which I'd never even heard of. There's only one engine, like, there's only one of these locomotives, the GP34 Eco, number 4800, rebuilt GP59 with Tier 4 emissions. That's interesting. 
now we come to the Jeep 38-2s, and there's a smattering of them. Right now, we're looking at three different th three different groups of GP 38-2s and one group of GP 38-3s. So, starting with the 38-2s, there's 126 in the first group. Majority are high hood. 5053 modified to run on CNG, which I did not know that. They're numbered from 5001 to 5254. Then the second group is 102 GP38 2s. Number 5301 is repowered with a 710 engine. Wow, but still 2000 horsepower. Okay, but they're numbered from 5257 to 5361. The third group is 73. GP38 2s and they were rebuilt from GP38s and GP38 ACs. They're numbered from 5601 to 5673. Now, there's 37 GP38 3s and these were rebuilt from GP50s and they're numbered from 5801 to 5837. I don't know what the horsepower rating is on them. I think it might be 25 or 3 2500 or 3000, but I don't know, so don't quote me on that, okay? I do not know what the what the horsepower rating is on the GP38-3. And just so you know, as of this roster, all the GP38-2s and GP38-3s are solid on the roster. They're not going in they're not going anywhere. They're not being sold off or retired. There's two GP22 dash eco. I'm sorry, Jesus, I'm getting screwed up here. There's two GP22 ecos rebuilt from GP38 AC cores, 5900 and 5901. Now we have another group of SD40 2s, 130 of them numbered from 6073 to 6206. Then you have the 14 SD33 ecos rebuilt from SD40s and SD40 dash 2 cores numbered 6210 to 6223 and then you have the SD40 E's that were rebuilt from SD50 cores and some SD50 S's according to this uh, summary here 58 of them 6300 to 6357 now here's where it really gets heartbreaking these are the SD60 M's there's four classes there's the SD60 the SD60 I the SD60 M and then another group of SD60Ms, the Triclops that NS got from NERX, NREX, NREX, National Railway Equipment. I might have made that. I might have made that mistake the other time. If I did, I'm sorry. All of these are either sold off or are scheduled to be sold off. They're retired and awaiting disposition to wherever. There's nine SD60s that have been sold off. And if they're left, if there are any left on the property, they're pending shipment. There were 30 SD60Is. All but 19 units were sold off and pending shipment. Seven SD60Ms. All units sold off and any left on NS are pending shipment. And the um, the SD60M Triclops units. There was uh, seven of them, I think. Seven, eight, seven, eight or nine of them. Somewhere, somewhere. But they were numbered from 67, 6807 to 6815. They're all gone. They came from National Railway Equipment in 2014. They're all gone. The SD60Es, 135 of them, rebuilt from SD60s, numbered 6900 to 7035. 48 Jeep 60s. I thought they had 50 of them, but they have 48 Jeep 60s, 7100 to 7150. 29 SD80 Max, numbered 7200 to 7228, and they were plan. They are planning to be rebuilt as SD70 ACUs starting in a year or so. And the reason I point that out is because somebody told me in one of my videos in, one, in the comment section that they had scrapped that program, but according to this, the roster summary here, that plan is still in motion. They're going to be rebuilt in the SD80 ACUs, which I'm okay with that if they, as long as they don't put that ugly ACE cab on. I don't know why they did that to the ACUs. I mean, they could have put such a nicer cab on that, but yeah, NS does stuff like that. Oh, and speak of the devil, the SD70 ACU, the last one on this page, rebuilt from 4,300 horsepower, SD90 Max, we know. Many, definitely not all, upgraded to 4,500 horsepower. Rebuilt from 4,300 horsepower, SD70 Max. Some of them were beefed up to 4,500 horsepower, as are the ACCs, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, but the ACCs, they're 4,500 horsepower, so they got some, they got some muscle to them. But anyway, there's 110 SD70 ACUs, number 7229 to 7339. The first 100 were X Union Pacifics, and then you had a couple of C. Well, they were the other 10 were CITs, but you had some X Indiana Railroads in there. You had some of the Bluebird CITs, and then you had some former Appalachian and Ohio ones, the purple, the, the purple people leaders that they called them, the Barney locomotives. 
Okay, the last six locomotive classes on this list. The ES44DC. There's 220 of them on the Norfolk Southern roster, and they are numbered from 7500 to 7719. They began like they were delivered to NS as ES40DCs, and they were beefed up to 4400 horsepower in 2013 to 2014. And then you have right behind them the ES44 ACs. There are 185 of them to date. 8,000 to 8,184, including the 10 heritage units. Now, we get back to the heartbreak again. The Dash 8s and the Dash 8.5s, both are on the endangered list. The C40 Dash 8Ws, which means the ex Conrails, 153 currently on the roster, 8314 to 8467. The last 27 of them from 84, either from 8440 or 8441 to 8167, those are the ex LMSs. I'm not sure if this starts with 8440 or 8441, but one of those numbers up to the last one, the 8467, those are ex LMSs. But nonetheless, they're all on the endanger list, all being sold off. And then you have the um, the 12 8 8. 540 CWs, that experimental locomotive that they were doing, according to the summary here, they were rebuilt from C40-8s. I thought there was some of them were dash AWs, but whether they were or they weren't doesn't matter. According to this, there's one more unit in progress rail, but may never... No, I'm sorry, there's one more unit that's still being built, but may never be finished. <laughs> now, that's funny. But they number from 8500 to 8513, so I guess that includes the 12 that are completed plus the one that's still in progress either way they're all going the AC 44 C6 CF that's the red bonnet the 8520 only one of them it was rebuilt from a C44 9W using third party equipment and similar to the AC 44 C6M and last on the list the C44 9Ws now according to this there's 929 of them left. Okay, so I'm assuming that's what has not been converted to an AC44C6M. But like I said, they're all on the endangered list because according to this, all of them will be converted to AC44C6Ms starting with the oldest ones first. Now the oldest Dash 9 wide cab is the 8889. The oldest standard cab Dash 9 was the 8764. I think I got that right. Pretty sure I got that right. It was 876 something. Yeah, yeah, 8764. The 8764 is long gone now, and I'm sure the 8889 is too. All, all the standard cab dash 9s are gone. They're all rebuilt in the AC 44s. And a lot of the oldest dash 9s have been rebuilt, as you know. Right now, they're being completed into the 4200 number series. Those are the Dash 9 CWs. So, get them while you can, because the Dash 9s are disappearing from NS. They're all going to be rebuilt into AC44 C6Ms. And that is the final model on this roster. I, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I'll tell you what, I was really, really intrigued and fascinated when I came across this, because this is the first time that I've seen a really thorough and perceived to be accurate look it, because it came from reputable sources okay a very reputable sources so this is the first time I've seen a roster like this that's that's current and thorough and accurate so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be keeping you up the best that I can about the progress that NS is making with their motive power as far as rebuilds and any new acquisitions are concerned for trains 21 call me AC